It's summertime in Texas, so how exactly does this summer heat affect the range on a Bolt EV? I've done these efficiency tests before in temperate conditions in the high 60s, low 70s. I've done them around freezing and I've done them below freezing. And today I'm going to do an efficiency test on my commute to work when the temperatures are in the triple digits. I'm making an extra trip. I don't have to go to work today. I'm just going to do the trip in the heat of the day so I can get the best example. I took video of my phone screen a minute ago and it said 109 degrees from the car thermometer. My Apple Watch says it is 105 and the closest weather station to me according to Weatherbug says it is 103. I'm going to give you updates uh, throughout the trip. I've got five, five miles in a fraction on county roads, uh, another stretch of about 15 miles on farm to market roads, and then six, seven miles on interstate before I get there. I'll give you all those updates, tell you how it affects the range of the car as we go. The car resets its um, trip odometer to an average efficiency of 4.0 miles per kilowatt hour. The, way, the reason that it does that is a Chevy Bolt has 65 kilowatt hour battery pack, that's the usable power, and has an EPA estimated range of 259 miles. If you take that EPA estimated range of 259 miles and divide it by 65, you get 3.98 miles per kilowatt hour, which is why it resets to 4.0, that's where it will round up. It's going to go down. The question is, how much is it going to go down as the air conditioning keeps up with this heat? I'll keep you updated at each checkpoint and give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. I've reached the end of the county road section of the commute at 5.3 miles and 4. Point, well now it says 4.2 miles per kilowatt hour. I don't remember exactly what it was at the stop sign. Uh, according to my energy, I've used a little over one kilowatt with 80% of it going to propulsion now and 20% to climate settings. The uh, temperature had gotten down to 105 now that the car has cooled off a little bit and isn't just sitting out in the sun. On to the farm road section. I've reached the end of the farm road section of my commute. There was some serious traffic and I had to negotiate a little bit of a ways around it. So I'm now at 20.7 miles, which is about four tenths more than it was when I did my spring uh, trip. I'm at 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour on my efficiency. I've used 5.2 kilowatt hours of total battery. 82% has gone to driving and 17% to climate settings. Outside temperatures reading is 104. Up next is about six miles of interstate and about a half a mile after that and I'm there. Have the, fun, uh, the conclusion here in a minute. gotten to the end of the freeway section at 26.8 miles, 
3.9 miles per kilowatt hour is my efficiency. I dipped down to as low as 3.7 on that interstate. It was a 70 mile an hour speed limit and that's where I had the cruise control set is at 70. I'm at seven kilowatt hours now, 84% to driving and accessories, 15% to climate settings and 104 degrees according to the car. Uh, I'm almost to my destination and I'll give you the final report. So I am at work. It has been 27.3 miles for my commute to compare to my other videos. My efficiency is 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour. I've used 7.2 kilowatt hours to get here. 84% uh, to driving and accessories, 15% to climate settings, and 1% to battery conditioning. The car says 105 degrees right now. I don't recall exactly if that's a, what it said for sure on the, the little insert clip, but what's on the video you can use. Um, so yes, air conditioning does affect total range in 100 plus degrees Fahrenheit heat. Uh, at an average of 3.9 miles per kilowatt hour, multiplied by 65 usable kilowatt hours in the battery, makes the range of the Bolt EV 253.5 miles in 100 plus degree heat. I know that um, there are several other climates, uh, especially just here in the United States, that are going to have higher summer temperatures than that, but 105 is pretty warm. Uh, it was afternoon, so there was a lot of traffic today, so I didn't get necessarily get the cleanest drive in. But that does tell me that the air conditioning does affect the range, which I already knew, but it doesn't affect it as much as using the heater. And I'm making this video not to prove the point to myself, I already knew this, but uh, to show anybody who's um, curious about electric vehicles exactly what uh, climate conditions will do to your range. Um, in the next month, I'm gonna be coming up on one year of ownership of the Bolt. I'll have a one year review uh, of that, as well as one video where I'll compile all of the efficiency tests that I've made uh, over the last several months covering all of the seasons here in North Texas. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and subscribe. We'll have some more content coming up.